In this video, I'll be demonstrating the speed advantage of receiving mempool data from a BloxRoute Go gateway in comparison to a conventional Ethereum node. A BloxRoute gateway is an entry point to our BDN, or blockchain distribution network, which propagates block and transaction data much faster than the peer-to-peer -peer blockchain network. To perform this comparison, I'll start by establishing a connection with the BloxRoute gateway, then I'll subscribe to the new transaction stream, and then I'll run my comparison script to measure the percentage of transactions that are being received through the gateway before the Ethereum node. I won't be showing it in this video, but setting up a BloxRoute gateway is super simple and only takes about 15 minutes to install. Since I already have the gateway installed, I can connect to it by establishing a WebSocket connection. Now that I'm connected, I can subscribe to the new transaction stream by sending an RPC request via the gateway. As you can see, the live stream for new transactions is coming through, and since it contains a wealth of mempool data, receiving this stream just a few milliseconds sooner can often make or break the success of a high-frequency trading strategy, like MEV, arbitrage, or algorithmic token price predictions. Speaking of strategies, a useful feature we offer is the ability to specify keywords and add filters so that you'll only see certain transactions. For example, if you're only interested in seeing transactions on Uniswap, you can specify the Uniswap smart contract address, and you'll only be shown transactions that are coming from the Uniswap contract. You can also specify other filters, like the gas fee or any other limits that you might be looking out for. For more details, you can visit the BloxRoute documentation at the link below. Now I'll be running the comparison script to measure the percentage of transactions that are being received through the BloxRoute Go gateway before the Ethereum node. But before I do, I should mention that our Go gateway is located in the same geographical region as our blockchain node, meaning the latency between the two is quite negligible. To demonstrate that, I'll do a quick ping. And as you can see, the latency is below 1 millisecond, so there's no concern about it tainting the comparison script's results. The script will run for 30 seconds, which should give us a transaction sample size of over 300, and that should be enough data for some solid results. So I'll start running the comparison script here for the next 30 seconds. And as you can see, I've got both WebSocket connections established, and I'm now listening to the feeds while the comparison script runs in the background. Oh, and while we're waiting, I should also mention that we support several different feeds other than the new transaction feed. For example, the new block feed, which you can use to identify arbitrage opportunities after a new block is created. Of course, you can check out more details about that in our documentation as well. Okay, it looks like the results from the script are ready, and I should mention that these figures can vary depending on the blockchain network congestion, meaning the more congestion there is on the blockchain network, the better the BDN performs in comparison. But as you can see here, a total of 561 transactions were received over the course of our 30 second test window, and 95% were received by the gateway before the Ethereum node which is very promising, especially considering how quiet things are on the Ethereum network right now. We also support BSC and Polygon, and you can expect even better performance on those chains by connecting to BloxRoute's BDN. I hope you found this video useful, and if you'd like to inquire about our services, feel free to contact us by email, Discord, or by visiting our website. Thanks for watching.